The purpose of this video is I'd like to talk a little bit about the Linda videos that you're going to be watching each week, this week. Each week, like we mentioned before, you're going to have various vid videos on lynda.com to watch. The purpose of these videos is for you to have basically a, kind of like a face-to-face -face demonstration of, of how to create the code and produce the code, just like you would if you were in a face-to-face -face class here on the home campus. Um, these videos um, are not made by me. I will have plenty of videos in the course that are made by me, but these instructional demonstrational videos uh, are made by lynda.com and you have access to them through your Webster ID and, and your, your ability to access this resource is paid from your student resources. So basically what you see um, this week uh, for week one Linda videos is you're supposed to go out and view the web design fundamentals course on lynda.com and these are the different um, videos that I'm asking you to watch. You might think, man, this is a lot of videos to watch. And you know, some of these are less than a minute. You know, basically James is just kind of talking through these various topics. And these are important foundational topics that you need to know before you can kind of get started with the rest of the course. Um, depending on your background, you might get into a few of these videos and think, you know what, I can skip this one, I can skip this one. But if I were you, I would definitely make sure that this is content that you know and understand because this is going to not only be the foundation that, of not, foundational knowledge that you need for this course, but also foundational knowledge that you'll need for the entire web design certificate and your future career as a web designer. So to access these resources, let's go ahead and log in. And to do so, you have to click on the Informational Services Workshop link. And this is the page that it's going to take you to, and you can click on Linda Training Login Page. And then on this page, you can enter in your uh, your ID. Oh wait, I'm sorry, your last name. And then you can enter in your seven-digit ID, followed by EWL. And then you click Log into the database. So basically what you see is this is the home screen. Linda is an amazing resource for those of you who are wanting to, you know, expand your knowledge perhaps in other technology, other web technologies, perhaps, ex perhaps graphic designer type stuff, perhaps uh, learning Flash. I mean, just, I mean, having this resource at your disposal is such an amazing thing that Webster's done for you. Um, so let's find these videos. So each week I'm going to show you where they are just to make sure you don't forget. But the fastest way to find them is what I like to do is I come up here to subject. And then I go down to web plus interactive. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter my results by clicking HTML plus HTML5. And then to make it even faster, I'm just going to click on HTML. And then you can actually, we don't need the HTML5 resources. Then you scroll down to the bottom. And then our two courses are right here. So Web Design Fundamentals and XHTML and HTML Essential Training, which you'll be starting to watch next week. So let's look at the Web Design Fundamentals course. You'll notice that the entire course is two hours and 43 minutes. I'm not asking you to watch the entire course, but I would highly recommend doing so. This week, I'm all, I'll show you which videos I'm specifically having you ask. So you click on that. Here's information about the course. Here is all of the videos within the course. And then again, on that list, I've told you which specific videos you're supposed to be watching. So now let's say you wanted to start. So you could you could watch the welcome video, who is this course for, etc. So let's say we want to watch the welcome video. You click on welcome. It's going to open up in a new browser. And basically you can then watch the video. You hit play and then you can then watch the video. You can then navigate to the next video by clicking the next movie. If you are brand new, if you need to, you can also watch this with the closed captioning on. And then once you're done watching all your videos, you can simply close. And then it'll also show you which videos that you've watched over here. Um, this course in particular doesn't have any exercise files, so the course that we start working with next week will. 
Um, so anyways, these are the videos that I've asked you to watch. What is web design? Are you a hobbyist or professional? We've already talked a little bit about that. He's going to talk about site design, informational architecture, interactive, interactive design. And then this web terminology area, this is really the information that you really need to understand. Some of this is covered in your book, but I think James puts a really good different spin on some of it. You know, so what is a URL, uh, the DNS and, what it may ha and why it, it matters and what it means to me, stuff like that. So make sure you watch all of these. You're going to be quizzed on this information next week. Again, this is foundational knowledge uh, that you need for this class, but also future classes you take and also your future career as a web designer. I hope you enjoy these resources. Again, I mean, Linda has some amazing stuff. Just come over here and go to business. For example, let me just give show you a couple different things. You can go to business, and then you can go to um, wait. Let's see. Productivity. I mean, they even have. There's. Where are they? Let me try to find them real quick. Business skills. I mean, here's information about how to make a how to write a resume. You know how to how to be in an interview. I mean, this is good information that I think that you might like to to watch. If you're interested in learning about perhaps a specific piece of software, like for example, the labs here on campus have fireworks. You can come here and watch a whole fireworks and learn about how to, to do image editing. Maybe you need to know more stuff about your Microsoft Suite programs. Maybe you want to learn about Adobe Photoshop. Um, but just you know, also browse. I mean, there's also specific courses in here on CSS and and JavaScript, Flash, other things like that. So I hope you enjoy this resource. And again, I'm asking you to watch the videos that are within the the HTML area, those two videos, and this week specifically you're watching the Web Design Fundamentals video by James. Um, let me know if you have any questions and enjoy learning this week.